What's up guys? Welcome to Fashion Week, September 2024. So this is my third Fashion Week, our second together. I'm so excited to be back here with McKenzie, and we're gonna be here for the next three days. So to be honest with you guys, we don't have much on the calendar this year. We weren't invited to too many things, but that's okay because we do have a few pop-ups, a few different kinds of things, and we have a lot of dinner reservations, a lot of people up to shoot, and some friends to see. So I'm really excited to be here nonetheless, and we're gonna have a good week. So I'm excited Yay! to take you guys along. We're about to go get drinks with Drew right now. If you watch my Thailand vlog, he was a friend that we made there and he actually lives in the Lower East Side. So we're gonna go meet up with him and tomorrow we're gonna get started with all the festivities. But so. first we're gonna have some fun. Yeah, first so we're gonna have some fun, a little Sunday dinner at an Italian spot. We have a collab at a little place in West Village. You're gonna have to like sit Poor straight. Angle. Oh wow. I have this two piece on from Commence. It's like a little sport, which I like the shorts built in. This little vest. I also have these little heels on that I thrifted at Goodwill this week. So. They're so cute. Alright, my dress is from Runway the Label, and then my shoes are from Franco Sarto, and I'm gonna carry this little black bag from Pauline. We literally look like a couple who just had an engagement. I'm so excited, guys! <laughs> let's go! Let's have a glass of Woo! wine! trying our wine. Mackenzie is a rosé. I got a cap sab for Drew and I. La Ferme Rouge. Product of Morocco. I would say the cap sab is just... Actually, I don't know. Drew, what do you think? Good or no? I thought it was good because it's not... Well, so... Drew's gonna say it's There's good. not an wine, intense but... aftertaste to it, which yeah. I feel like a lot of bread does, yeah. and I'm not usually a bread person. But we sat on the roof for a little bit. Very good view. What's right here? All right, babes, our ketchup with Drew was awesome. We just went to dinner at Ombra. A shout out Jules. It was one of her clients and she set us up and Mackenzie, Drew and I had the best night. We had some kind of Alfredo pasta. We had a lobster pasta. Cacho Pepe. Cacho Pepe. We had a lobster, lobster pasta, pasta and, and we had a steak the and steak it was, was so good. good. And we also got a kale salad that everybody made fun of me for, but it was like a kale Caesar and I thought it was really good. And then we also had burrata. And that was bomb. Awesome. And so now it's like 10 40 we're heading home because tomorrow is Monday morning And we're gonna try to get out at like 7 something to try and shoot a couple outfits and just kind of get our fashion week underway We didn't vlog much tonight, but we are gonna be coming at you guys with a lot tomorrow So good to catch up with an old friend that we haven't seen and not like an old friend honestly a newer friend But one that we haven't seen in a few months. We did have a lot to cover So cool to see him in like his home environment because we obviously met him in Thailand So very different very very different environment. Hopefully we'll be able to hang out again before we head out. Good night, guys. I have to like go take this makeup off, take a shower, and just sleep. Good morning, New York City. We are about to head out. It's about 9 o'clock, and I'm wearing this plunging jumpsuit from Hello Molly. And Mackenzie and I are gonna shoot these sparkly fits together, and then I have a little PR gifting at 10.30. We're gonna meet up with Mackenzie's cousin for lunch, and then we have a little happy hour creator suite thing at 4.30. So, a couple things on the agenda today, but it looks like a beautiful day outside. It's like 50-something right now, so a little colder than we're used to, but let's go. Oh my gosh guys, if you know you know, I grew up with Springer Spaniels and one just walked by me and I swear every time I get to see a Springer I know it's gonna be a really great day. They're just like the most beautiful dogs. They're obviously my favorite bias, but they're my favorite types of dogs ever. So I just saw a woman walking one and it was so adorable so she let me pet it. And oh, it's a good feeling. I just know it's gonna be a good day whenever I get to see one because it's rare that it happens, but it's always a good day when it does. I just shot this Lizzie McGuire outfit. I will put a picture right here. I'm about to shoot Mackenzie in this dress, and then I'm heading to my first little event, which is a little PR thing. Guys, I I thrifted these boots, and I was so excited about them. And I was like, something feels like it's kind of flapping on the front of my foot. Look, thank God, we just walked out of the hotel. We didn't even take five steps like, outside of the house. <laughs> mayday, mayday, mayday. It happened to the other one, and now it's like I really can't walk. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Look at that. Are you different pair of boots, 
10 a.m. on a Monday, but it's 10 a.m. on a Monday in New York City during Fashion Week, which calls for champagne. So we just got to Doors PR, and we're actually looking through some really, really awesome pieces right now that we can pull. So basically, like how a showroom like this works is like a lot of these items are like ticketed over like a thousand dollars, and you kind of like do a rental, so you can come in and pick some really cool pieces and like show the brand off and wear them to some events and things like that. And then obviously you return it at the end. But this is how a lot of celebrities and like influencers and stuff go to like red carpet events and things like that so we'll come somewhere like this and basically like rent out the piece which is like a really expensive item and then give it back at the end so it's basically like kind of like a rental but some of these pieces are really really cool cheers mckens we're excited to try some cool stuff on there's some really funky items in here they were like do you want a glass of champagne and i was like it's 10 a.m i really don't need one but then like this is like a this is a 10 a.m. This is a 10 a.m. appropriate. This champagne. is like the amount of champagne you probably put in a mimosa in the morning, so it's good. New York City fashion is so interesting. Like all of the like the composition of these is actually rubber, which is so interesting. Like this looks like something that you would really see on a runway. Oh my gosh, look at this one, guys. <laughs> What is this? So I just tried on this little red number, guys. How cute is this? I kind of love a little frilly tool moment now. It's just like so fun. And I feel like you could do this with flats or heels. And also for like the holidays too. Kind of versatile. Very girly, but very cute and comfy. I keep like sliding to the side because it's starting to fall off my phone, but we're about to go get a smoothie. We never shop together, but no. I am someone that will be honest and I'm like, you have to get that. All right, guys, like I know that this potato sack from Free People is $70, but like if I wear the potato sack every single day, and it's a cute potato sack, right? But if I wear it every single day, girl math, it's like only gonna be like what, $3 a day? Oh my gosh, it's just so comfy. So Mackenzie gave me like the short version of this from Amazon and I wear it all the time, like every time I get out of the shower. And this is just for fall. Like I think it's so cute. I'm gonna link it down below. <laughs> That's so cute. It's just like the story of my life is Mackenzie just like peeking her head through my curtain at the fitting room See, all the like, time. I don't want to try anything on. And I was like, yeah, oh my God. It's dangerous because you'll like everything. No, literally. And I was about to say, I was like, I their colorways for fall are just so good right now. I know this like kind of looks really baggy and stuff, but I swear like certain pieces like this, especially in the fall and winter, like this is something I really would reach for every single day. And if you're a girl that lives in Philly and you're an Eagles sports fan, this is literally the perfect Eagles green. And you could also like honestly wear these to a tailgate with like a little eagle shirt or something like that, but wow, so cute, I love this fit. So it's either like we go into Brandy and don't buy anything or we literally wanna buy everything. And today, Mackenzie helped me select down to three items. So I got this sweatshirt type of cutoff tank top. I really, really like it. It's like giving me inspo on how to cut some of my thrifted t-shirts. And then I got a pair of pajama shorts and just a brown belt. So pretty simple. Okay, so Mackenzie and I stopped at a Starbucks. I got a vanilla matcha latte. And right now we're in Little Italy. We wanna grab a slice of pizza and do kind of like a shot like that. But honestly, there's a lot of restaurants where you sit down and stuff. So we might walk a little bit closer to the hotel and Soho and get a slice over there. So we stopped in Lucia of Soho. We saw so many people in here yesterday, it's right near our hotel. And I got a vodka slice and Mackenzie got a cream spinach slice. So, sounds pretty good. Mackenzie just went back to get a second slice of pizza and tell them what they said. We literally were like, what's your name? And, or like, what's your name again? And I just gave Sam because Sam gave her name the first time and they were like, Sam, we think your friend's hot. So in my head I was like, oh, that's so nice because I'm the friend. But really it was that I had given my name as Sam and they thought, Mackenzie, Sam was hot. So <laughs> it's really awesome. So I got a piece of pizza for free. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Wow. So we're heading to another collab that our bestie Jules set up for us. Whoop. 
This one is at Paris Cafe and we're actually right under the Brooklyn Bridge So I'm hoping to walk across that afterwards guys I got so many pairs of Amazon sunnies in right when I was literally pulling out of my driveway to come to fashion week And I was like, oh my god, I got here just in time I'm gonna link them all down below because I keep rotating them out and I used to be a really big Bray Bands girl But now that there's like a lot of different styles that are trending and trend cycles are just so fast Honestly, it's just like easier to get a $9 pair on Amazon and then if I lose them It's kind of whatever so I have like six different pairs here and it's kind of nice to switch it up too with your outfit, you know? That's true. I'll insert the video of my boots that I put on TikTok right here. We're on our way to meet Mackenzie's cousin for lunch. She's a plastic surgeon and I can't wait to talk to her about some new boobs. I wonder what she's gonna say. I need to know how much money I have to save. I also need to know if it's worth it. I want to know how many people like come back and say that they think they have like the breast implant illness and all that. I'm very interested to talk to her more. Cheers! I got a shrimp Caesar, Meganga, and an arugula salad. And we got some fries. So the gals each had two drinks and I have on my new little cutoff for brandy that I got today. We liked the Paris Cafe, it was a good vibe. Megan said that she's only ever done chicken Caesar salad, but I, I prefer shrimp on them, I think it's best. So now we're gonna head up to the Brooklyn Bridge. We're gonna see some views, get some pics. <laughs> yes! This sidewalk is genuinely only for skinny legends. Like, what is going on? We're trying to figure out how to get on the bridge. End of it, we're gonna be our ramp. Just go, turn to the right. So the girlies are doing a little Brooklyn Bridge walk. I'll insert a picture right here. The people that are trying to run on the Brooklyn Bridge right now they have a type of determination that needs to be studied. It's crazy. Foot traffic here. For someone trying to run, imagine trying to run on this right now. downstairs to ask the guy at the front desk if he knew if there was a spot where any taxis were like parked out in the mornings every day so that we could like see a bunch in a row and he gave me three spots that he walks by in the mornings that we could check out and then he was like so how would you tell a girl that you don't want to hang out with her and i was like sorry what <laughs> And he was like, yeah, you look like maybe you would know. He was like, this girl like walked in here and was like, you look nice, you're hot. I think we should go to dinner. You should take me out tomorrow at five. Oh my God. And he was like, I was like, that's hot. I'm that kind of person too. Like I'm like straightforward like that, that I'd follow someone around and ask them that. And he was like, I know. He was like, I am too, which is why it caught me really off guard. And he was like, but it's like kind of intimidating. Was it he the was, guy that was at the front desk? Yeah. <laughs> and so whatever, then he was like, well, it's kind of, I was like, why don't you just go? Well, blah, blah. he was like, well, I've been kind of with this girl for two years and it's kind of complicated right now and I just like don't know if I should go or not and yeah, I was just talking with him. So if I could only give one travel tip for the end of time, it would definitely be to take vitamin C when you're anywhere new or you're around a lot of people touching a lot of different surfaces when you're on an airplane or anything, just like touching door handles a lot and stuff. I literally, I always bring vitamin C gummies everywhere and they taste really good too. And I used to always pack emergencies and I wish that I did for this trip because I literally, the past two days I've forgotten to take my vitamin C and on the way home my throat started to feel a little scratchy and I was like, damn. I'm someone who like if I don't keep up with my vitamins, I kind of start to get sick. So I just took them, I also take B12, and I've also been taking some Lemmy vitamins as well, but I didn't bring them on the trip with me. But Mackenzie and I watched the sunset on the Brooklyn Bridge, I'll insert a photo right here, it was really nice. And then we walked 18,000 steps today, seven miles. And now we just came back, it's about eight o'clock, and we're just gonna lay and kind of like catch up on some editing and stuff like that. And hopefully I'll get a workout in in the morning, and then we're just gonna have another day here in New York City. These pajamas are from, hold on, let's see. I've been trying to be a pajama girl because I feel like it makes me feel a little more put together. She's trying and she's succeeding. I am. I've what are these called, this, Mackenzie? I've been wearing this Hollister Texas Longhorns tee for like seven days. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Those look like they're from Target. No. She the underwear to bed is wild. <laughs> I do she underwear on. Guys, I'm working on myself. Personal growth is that I've been watching Sam eat these gummies and I didn't ask for one. It's, it's taking everything in me not to. 
Just so you know. <laughs> I'm working on myself because I know it bothers Sam so much. Well, because I usually only like, bring on a trip enough for how many days I'm there. But when she asked me for my going vitamins, I feel bad not giving them to her. Like, I feel like a bitch, but I'm like, girl, I need these or I get sick for real. All right, guys. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good evening, Earthlings. Guys, I have this bonnet on. And actually, this one's from Dollar Tree, which is why it's a bit loose, right? So, but shout out to Tari because last year when I was at Fashion Week with Tari, she was like, dude, you got to start sleeping in a bonnet. And I did. And honestly, I really did see a difference in my hair today. Mackenzie said so too, but Mackenzie didn't see me go to bed. She didn't see me go to bed last night because I was in the shower and she just passed out. So she turned around. Guys, like I, I woke up at 2.30, 3 a.m. And it's really bright in this room when the lights are off because we didn't close the blind so that the natural light would like wake us up and we're in a city. So like really bright in here. <laughs> so you can like clearly see the shapes of the bed. And I woke up and we had a, a little, little bit more than a little bit to drink last night. So I passed out like right away. And I woke up at 2 30 and i was like oh my god who is this guy <laughs> like, bed? like i was i was like, this way for reference and she just saw like this like, like just like the like it, it looked like <laughs> kind of like curly black hair and i was like who's in my bed and i was like i've been changing hotels like i've been in three different cities in the last five days so i woke up and was like where am i who am I with? What happened last night? I was like, did something happen? I was like, trying to retrace my steps. I was like, how much alcohol did I have last night? I was like, what is this stranger doing in my bed? And like Sam's eye mask was like kind of crinkled in a way that like it made her look like she had a ton of wrinkles. Like it looked like an older gentleman. And I was like, how did I get here? I was like, who is this guy in my bed? And I was like, starting to like, I don't, I don't really get scared. I wasn't really scared. I was just more so like, what, what the? F is going on right now like I was like where am I and then finally like I don't know what happened but I, I it registered in me that I was like that's Sam and I was like what is she wearing <laughs> I saw her lace pajamas and that's how I knew it was a girl. But I was like, who is this? Guys, like if you like are newer to the vlogs, like I am the ugliest sleeper known to man. Like I really have a bonnet on and eye mask, earplugs and mouth tape. Like I do not look good. But like like how you see all those girls on TikTok, right? or maybe it's just me because like I wear mouth tape a lot. So I'm getting all these TikToks on my For You page of girls that sleep just like me. I'm like convinced that I sleep better than Sam and I literally do nothing besides put my retainer in and close my eyes. And like oh, yeah. I I will fall asleep within 60 seconds. Like, it's wild. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if it's working, but we'll see. All right, good night. Good morning, New York City. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome Hello. to New York City. It's Tuesday morning, and we are about to head out and try to do this little Pinterest vision that we have on like yeah. a taxi cab mirror. Um, if we can find a park taxi cab, we have Mackenzie was like, Sam, I think that there's somewhere really all park, which obviously, when you think about it, we clearly told them last has night, to remember it off the guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. This was okay. your vlog. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So she told you guys last night, and she went down and talked to the guy, and there was three different spots. But as we're looking outside, there's taxis rolling around everywhere, obviously. So I'm sure that not all of them are there, but hopefully a few. I have on this like really, I don't know if you guys can see, like it's very much like more of like a boho type of fit. It's actually a lace dress from Oak and Ford. This top is from Super Dry. And then I've been obsessed with this little gold belt. I got it for the summer and I thought it was like, just like more of a little summer accessory, but I've been using it so much here. And it's just like a little hooked belt from Urban. And then I have my Samas on. I'm going to put on those thrifted heels though, when we get there. Cute. All right, I'm wearing a white mini dress, giant bow in the back from commence if you were like a bride to be this would be such a fun dress for like bachelorette or like so cute yeah i don't know it's really fun um gold heels are from dolce vita and then my bag is from jwk all right guys Yay. let's have a day We didn't end up getting our taxi vision, maybe tomorrow, but we ended up stumbling upon this really cute little subway station and we got some really awesome pictures. I'll put one here. So we might not be going to a lot of events and we might not be mingling too much, but we're getting a ton of great fall content, which is exciting. And I'm getting to spend time with my bestie. I'm here dropping up thousands of pictures right now. Yeah. So that you can get the camera ones. I think that what we're going to do now is head to brunch. We're starving and I have a gifting event in Flatiron. So that's like 40 minutes of a walk from here. So I think what I'm going to do is just put on something more casual. Like as far as I think what I'm going to do what I think what I'm going <laughs> to. 
Oh my god. I think what I'm gonna and I also I don't know if you watched my vlog from last week, but I definitely think I have a concussion. Like my brain fog's been like not the best. Um anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is put on like some flat boots and I think we're just gonna walk there. I mean we've been really busy, so I haven't really worked out since we've been here. So I was like we might as well just get some more steps in, right? I think that we're gonna just mosey on down there and see where we stumble upon a cute little brunch spot. And then we're just gonna go to that gifting and have a day. Also, I put this in my other New York vlogs, but if you haven't watched my other fashion week vlogs, guys, when you come to New York City, whether you're here obviously for fashion week or you're just here to sightsee wear flat shoes whether it's the summer and you wear flip-flops i know that's kind of gross in the city but i do it it's or gross. everybody tells me it's gross that i wear flip-flops i don't think it's gross who's touching the bottom of your foot well your foot will get dirty that's the thing but it's your like your foot will be black i mean right? but i went to college in north philly so it was like when we wore heels or flip-flops or open-toed shoes it was just like you just showered before you like did anything you know like you just got home and like rinsed off kind of thing but anyway so always pack sneakers or flip-flops or pack your heels and wear those because oh my god you will thank me later Later, like when you try to manage the city in your heels like Carrie Bradshaw I'm telling you that was fiction it's just impossible to walk 40 blocks in heels maybe Manolo's I'm not sure but yeah my feet are ripped from like the flats and stuff so also pack a lot of band-aids I always make sure that I do that as well throw on my other outfit and then we're gonna head to brunch so we were trying to figure out where to get brunch and I decided to take us to Jack's wife oh Frida's because every time I'm in the city for fashion week I end up coming here when I was here with Bethany and Jemmy in the past couple years we always came here for like one of our first meals um, and I've gotten the burger and the eggplant sandwich before and I thought they were both really good so I think I'm gonna it's so cute how like the menu is just like on the table or the eggplant sandwich which I don't think you'll like but I don't like it. it's the motto of Frida's it's like a very little French spot because of the way these chairs are and like angled out We're heading over to the Flatiron area for, for my gifting with Brand at it. So that's cool. We have like a 15 minute more, we have 15 minutes more of a walk and it's really beautiful out. It's pretty hot, but it's such a gorgeous day. We've been having the best weather, which is awesome. We stumbled upon a cute little farmer's market, so we decided to stop in. got here it's literally so cool i already ran into three creators from philly so it was so good to see them and i forgot that i'm scheduled for a facial which is wild because i actually did my makeup pretty good today but i'm like whatever i really need it so i'm gonna definitely get that and we're about to walk around and look at all the gifting space it looks really cool here Okay guys, I'm currently in the bathroom at the gifting suite and I'm about to get a facial done with clear silk which it's gonna be like a laser type of facial so they gave us these little makeup wipes and there's some cleanser in here and I'm gonna go out and get, get that done. There's a lot of great brands here. Lulu's is here, Tangle Teaser, Crocs, Hum, Pomegranate Juice which is cool. I'm like super glad we stopped by. Guys, when we tell you they actually just gave us like 15 pounds worth of merchandise of things that were there. Oh my gosh, I've never gotten gifted this many things in one bag. It has to be 10 pounds. Like very thankful. We'll have to do a haul when we get home. We're gonna have to do a PR haul when we get home, guys. Like the amount of stuff we got is actually unbelievable. They have like all kinds of like Bayer stuff and clean cleaning products and all different types of stuff. I'm like, I'm obsessed with the Tangle Teasers and wow, very thankful. So <laughs> modeling is like your agent emailing you 20 
20 minutes ago and being like urgent Ikea commercial and they're like we need an instant photo of the tops of your feet the bottom and a selfie and I'm like wow of course it's during fashion week when I couldn't have more blisters all over my feet so like Mackenzie literally just came back from her walk and I was like Mackenzie I need you to help take a picture of my feet and it's just looking so bad like we're gonna have to just wait for tomorrow and try and do it then because I it's looking so ugly but oh my god I hope I hope we get the draw <laughs> Mackenzie no getting iron <laughs> So the foot picks were a bust. We're gonna have to try again tomorrow. But we're on our way to hunt and fish for our last dinner collab. And then we're meeting up with Drew and a couple of his friends for drinks. And then we're going to the comedy cellar. I'm so excited. Nelly took us to the comedy cellar with my college best friends last time we were here, and we had the best time. So it can't wait. Obviously, we're not allowed to film in there, but can't wait to tell you guys all about it. I have this thrifted corset on and these cheetah print jeans. Mackenzie and I have been to a lot of nice places together, but like Jules really hooked us up this time. Hunt and Fish is like definitely one of the nicest restaurants I've ever been to. It's like right in Times Square, but like kind of off the street a little bit. And I just think this is gonna be like the most epic meal. Like I just got a glass of Prosecco. I'm feeling so fancy. Very thankful to be here with my bestie. I just tried the bar. It's like, it's insane. Wow, like look at this. It's like a popover. This reminds me of like, there was like a book that I read or like a TV show with these when we were little and I forget what it was. I can't wait to try. So on the menu they had East Coast and West Coast oysters. So I decided to get one of each because I'm relatively new to the oyster scene. It's not something that I really used to eat. And I've recently, since we've been traveling so much, been expanding my palate for sure. So I got one West Coast and one East Coast and I got, I'm gonna show you guys the difference. This is the West Coast and this is the East Coast. So we'll have to see. There was haste test, put some lemon on each. And I'm an East Coast girl, I'm gonna do the East Coast first. Okay, it's refreshing. All right, now we're gonna try the West Coast. I think the West Coast wins. It's saltier. I don't really know if that means it's better or not. Some people don't like that with oysters, but I thought it was a little more favorable. I'd say the East Coast is a 7 out of 10, and the West Coast is a 9 out of 10. All right, guys, we're going to throw you right eating. We're getting drunk. Can you please? The first time you pull out. I haven't been out in quite a while, but we were at the company cellar, so I decided to send it as I would send it. Oh, that's good. I always get my martinis extra dirty. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom and I looked at myself and I was like, I don't think a 45 year old girl, like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I just look like, look like my mom right now. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> Guys, I went to so many stores today and literally there was like nothing. Like, there, not one store had anything that was remotely going out. And I was like, what do people wear? Dinner is served, guys. We got eight ounce fillets, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, and peppercorn sauce. Our sides portions are unbelievably large. So we got a peach cobbler and a lemon blueberry cheesecake. Which one's better? They're, they're so different. Dinner was genuinely a 10 out of 10. It was so good. And right now we're on our way to meet Drew and two of his friends for drinks. And then we're going to go to the comedy cellar. That's what we're thinking right now. It depends. We might stay at the bar based on the vibes, but I really love the comedy cell we went, so I'm so down to go, just depending on how the night goes and how what everyone else wants to do. But Times Square is looking great, y'all. Good morning, St. Petersburg! Wow, and when I was in college, we used to call Tuesday Ladies Night, and exactly what yesterday was. We had an just amazing night, you guys. We started off at, uh... Sorry, she's having brain fog like I've been. What is the name of that place that we, the first place you met? The Spaniard. Yeah, okay, so we met, we met Drew and one of his friends at the Spaniard, and we had a bevy there, and then we walked over to... So I have to make a confession. <laughs> I hated finance bros before we met Drew. And he's not a finance bro. He works in consulting, he's not a finance okay, bro. Okay, but I just like, I'm like the always, typical New York City guy. I had always just classified every person that was a guy that walked past me in New York City like in a suit of finance bar recently. <laughs> and before Drew, I'd never met anybody that was like nice or like really cool. That was a finance bro. <laughs>
Sam's not hung over yet. She's still hammered. Guys, like at the comedy summit, the when drinks they said that they, they served serve you, like they gave me a gallon of Pinot Grigio. <laughs> like that's criminal. I got a vodka pineapple that was like, like you have to. Okay, so then we went to the comedy cellar and they do like six different acts that are like 15 to 20 minutes long. And it's like vulgar, it gets political, but I've always wanted to go. Danielle Carolyn always goes and like, it was so funny. And it was just like, I really, really liked it, but you have to have a two drink minimum for each, or two item minimum for each person that goes. So obviously we got drinks. I got vodka pineapple, Sam drank three chalices of wine. <laughs> Like actually three chalices. And then we like literally were like, we have to go get another drink and just, because the one thing about the comedy cellar is that you can't talk there. Like it's not. I literally brought Drew to the side because he was like, guys, I have work tomorrow. And it was like 1230 and I literally brought him to the side and I was like, listen, I know you have work, but we're moving away. <laughs> and I was like, I know that this sounds dramatic, but, but it's, it's so not. rare that we're here. He did rally and we did go out and like, I just like, wow. Sorry about my routine or slur. But but Drew. Okay, so there's two Dramamine and two Tylenol here, which sounds bizarre. <laughs> Amazing hangover cure if you are someone that gets a little hung. Mm -hmm. But two Dramamine. Dramamine just is like anti-nausea. You can take it like on, on a normal day. You don't have to be on a boat being motion sick in order to take it. All right, so the good news is that you're going to be seeing more of Drew in Spain because I invited him because I was just having a moment where I was like... I didn't even know he was coming. So you'll see Drew in Spain with Jules and her ex, Dan. So yeah. Don't worry, we can go out and party and have a good time until 2 a.m. But we are we are hustlers of nature, so we got up. We're at them. And we've got a couple outfits that we're going to shoot today in the city. We're going to check out of this place, grab something to eat, hopefully <laughs> a bagel sandwich, and, you know, really get after it. One last day here in the city. We got some oh. fall, last fall outfits to shoot. So I have severe drinking insomnia like if i drink as much as we did yesterday like i just like can't sleep like i'll sleep for like four hours and then i'm up so at 6 30 i woke up this morning 5 30 5 45 like literally the sun wasn't even up yet and i was like oh my god stuff i'm literally the like, I'm like a log. like when i drink i'm like i literally don't move that's why i couldn't believe when i at three like it felt like i'd been asleep for so long and i like couldn't believe that you were still awake today outfits glitter harry bradshaw <laughs> Wait, please, please look. Where's your phone? Don't look at the picture I sent Nikki Cowgirls this morning. You're gonna die. Oh god, like again? Okay, guys, how scary do I look right now? <laughs> so, style by I got this pin curler and I decided to try it. It took me like an hour to do these and I haven't brushed them out yet, but I'm excited to. So, when I do my makeup, after I do my makeup, I'll come back and we'll do it together. It's currently 9 45 and we're gonna see how long it takes to pin curl my hair. It's 9 55 and look at the shrink from this section two is done it's 10 3 okay it's 10 15 and we have one section left all right it's 10 35 we're gonna do some makeup Hang this on. air conditioner is making look the moment of truth mackenzie said just with your fingers so so fun you literally have an afro you it My hair is a lot shorter than Sam's, so like mine kind of like, if I put it to the side, it kind of will like give it some oomph up here, whereas Sam's is just like... <laughs> <laughs> Sam's just like actually looks like a perm. Like the finishing touch when I do this, a little bit of whey um, hair oil, like just like one drop and then you go like this with your hands and then put your hair back, Sam. This will just like kind of refreshes the curls. I'm giving like that <laughs> fitness instructor. $10 on Amazon. Go find it on her Amazon storefront. <laughs> <laughs> so while I was trying to do this, Mackenzie literally packed up all my stuff. Like, what a good friend. And she laid my outfit out for me. How cute. Even a little Gatorade cap. I... <laughs> I look like a golden doodle like I can't take myself seriously, but the hair is honestly so fun My outfit is completely thrifted except for these stockings from sheer text. They're my favorite and I thrifted this and these shorts right before I got here and the boots actually so full fit guys I'll put a picture right here because it's kind of really hard to see I thrifted for $15 total probably which is you know pray that nothing breaks today pray my boots don't break today but you know we have a reservation with Jules at 2 p.m which i'm so excited about i'm excited to see her she just got to 
the city yesterday. She went to Love Shack Fancy. And I think I'm going to get another slice of pizza. I'm looking at the pizza parlor right now. Lucia's. And the last time, do Mackenzie got cream of spinach. And do these sunglasses help keep it tame? Or I literally it didn't even know that there were sunglasses in there. Like, you can't even see them. I love you. Okay, so we actually found a perfectly parked taxi and he stayed for us. The lighting in my photos wasn't the best, but I do love how they turned out. It was exactly what I was thinking. I'll put one right here. So at the very least, we haven't been going to many things, but like I said, we've been having a lot of fun, seeing a lot of friends, and we also been getting really great content. So that's all you can ask for, right? And Mackenzie and I have been having a lot of fun together, so excited about that as well. It's been a good trip for us. Because sometimes in New York, it's like, the climate in the city because it's just like kind of hectic and chaotic and you're really trying to navigate all the time like sometimes obviously if you have people that you're with that aren't the best at directions or navigating or making plans sometimes it can be a little feisty but we've been really doing well together so it's been really good taking a selfie right now and she's trying the auto adjust on the iphone is just like if anybody knows how to fix that let me know i'm gonna put on another outfit i got this i got this coke because i don't know i just thought it was like cool for a prop and i haven't had one of these in forever and i was like let me just try it. I was thirsty. Okay, so we just got done with our shooting morning and we just got to the restaurant where we're gonna meet Jules for lunch. Excited to hang out with her. Fortunately, I broke Mackenzie's camera when we were shooting. <laughs> hey, Carrie Bradshaw. Hi. Hi. I missed Hi. you. This is called Lala Turna. Lala Turna something. Dee Vittorio. And it's one of my favorite restaurants. I actually first ever came here like six years ago, which is so wild. We were taking, me and my friend Asha were taken here by the guy that she was dating. And I remember thinking it was so cool. It was nighttime when we came, the lanterns were all lit up. And it's like very garden esque. It reminded me of a place, a restaurant in Epcot, wildly. And I DM'd them because I was like, let's try to get a collab. I've never done a collab before until me. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. So guys, this place is famous for lasagna flights. So we got the vegetarian one and there's four different kinds. Look at the girls getting the content in. All right guys, so I used to have a thrift store over on Instagram called Shop Sam Souter, and I always talk about this when I come to the store. It's called Funny Pretty Nice in New York and it's just the cutest little vintage shop and I just like really want to get back into selling vintage clothes. I love thrifting so much. It's one of my favorite hobbies and it's so cute in here. I love to shop here, so let's go in. So we're about wraps with Fashion Week. I literally have these three tote bags, this backpack and this suitcase to try to get home on the train. So we'll see how that works. Jules is running back to her friends and she is going through Mackenzie's gifting bag right now. We were like, you need to take some of the stuff because like they really did give us so much the other day. And yeah, so this is all our stuff that we have here, but. Okay, show the what I'm taking. <laughs> Tissues. Anytime you drink violin and you Oh yeah, that's like all the things we need. <laughs> it was so good to see you, Julie. So good to see you, Mom. Love you. Love you. Oh my gosh. So guys, this fashion week was different than some. I decided to just take the train home when Mackenzie leaves because she's going to Penn Station too and I have so much stuff. I kind of need some more support to get me to the train. But thank you guys so much for joining us on this little fashion week vlog. If you want to see more from me, then make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. I think next week I'm going to do like a little home vlog because we got to get back in a routine, you know? So, the poodles are out. The poodles are out. The poodles are out. Jules sent this picture to her ex of our hair and he literally thought it was a filter. Like, how humbling. I like didn't think it was that bad. I like keep going back and forth. I don't know if I'm going to do it again. We'll have to see. All right, over and out. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.